Socializing is just like any other skill. You have to practice to be good at it. Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to Friend Ever. As you can see, I'm wearing the thinking cap, even though we're not doing a thought experiment today. And first of all, I love this hat. If you want to get your own, you can find one in the link in our description, friendever.net. But also, because I did a thought experiment video last week and I forgot to wear it so I'm like well, I don't gotta balance this out also I was wearing it earlier and just decided to keep it on as you saw in the intro today we're talking about socializing and what it means to socialize I hear the term a lot these days social anxiety and I completely believe that's a real thing and it definitely garners like a lot of attention these days so I thought I'd do something a video about like battling social anxiety or tips in this case tips to help you socialize. If you're here from the algorithm, welcome. Hope you stick around and check this out. Uh, we got a lot of resources like this, including obviously a bunch of videos on YouTube and then at our website, free digital downloads and products and all that kind of thing to help you uh, in your friendships and in your just regular life. It's not a bad thing to just try small talk right at the beginning. Like, Small talk, no, it's not what you can build a relationship off of, but it's definitely a great way to practice communicating and that kind of thing. So the classic things, where did you grow up? Where are you from, like right now? Uh, talk about the weather, that kind of stuff is pretty standard and I wanted to say it first to get it out of the way before we get into other tips, but also just to say that it's okay if that's where you wanna start in your, in your communication and, and in your conversations. And if you don't struggle with communication or socializing and if you come across someone who does send them this video you know let them know that hey they can do it right it's it's not a it's not this heavy heavy hard super detailed skill but it is a skill and it does require practice so great way to start off your practice just start start with small talk uh, when you get to the point where you're comfortable enough with that person ask them out to lunch ask them for coffee and then you'll have a one-on-one -on -one personal limited environment where you're not in front of a bunch of people. I mean, there'll be people in the coffee shop or the restaurant or whatever, but as far as like who's communicating, it's just the two of you, right? And so your conversation can center around what you guys have in common and just build from there. Another tip about the small talk that kind of bridges the gap to this one is if you have a mutual friend, you can be like, how long, your small talk part can be like, how long have you known so-and-so? And then your one-on-one -on -one conversation can be talking about your common interest with that person or how you both know them or if you really want someone to bridge that gap bring them with you and they can help and then you're just listening to conversation flow you're engaging in conversation with you feel comfortable and that's just one way to practice your socializing skill tip number three join uh like a common interest group like a community event or something like that so you're going in with the benefit of having the connectivity with these people that you already have something in common. For example, if there's like a book club and you like reading at your local library, consider joining that and you'll learn. You'll be reading the same book, you'll have conversations, that kind of thing. If you like reading, that could be a choice. Or if you like pickleball, that's a huge thing these days. Go to a local court and see if you can play a pickup game. Social anxiety does not have to absolutely cripple you to the point where you can't have relationships. It should just help you like twist the view in which you're looking at it. So no, don't go to a huge conference, don't go up in the club, don't go somewhere that you're gonna feel uncomfortable, but if you pick the right path to get to that point, you will be practicing your socializing skill all along the way to help you become a better socializer. Once you uh, find the person that you are like interested in getting to know or whatever, you can use tools like fit to do friend dates and that kind of thing to help you figure out unique things to do so you're not just sitting across from each other. But you'll have a, say you're at a game night. Game night is a classic. You've got an activity and conversation comes second, right? And then if you're not even comfortable conversing, you can just use the volley of other people's conversations, listen to what they're saying, and eventually you might be able to chime in. If you found these tips helpful, awesome. If you didn't, that's great. 
still still hang out because I'm sure we'll hit something one of these days that fits your situation. I would be so honored if you subscribed. No pressure, but you know where that subscribe button is. Uh, if you have another tip for socializing, this was a short video, but if you have another one, drop it in the comments because it could benefit someone else. Friendship is a journey. It's an endeavor. I'll see you next time on Friendever.